We do have requirements for private sector and businesses to invest money to pay that retirement. Um, some of those funds have done badly. But the federal government is in worse shape. We don't have any investment fund for military retirees. We don't have an investment fund for federal retirees. Um, we don't have an investment fund for postal workers. It's supposed to be, but it isn't there. And uh, we don't have any real investment fund for Social Security. Ms. Tibbetts, I recently gave a floor speech on the health of the Social Security program, given the la latest trustees report that says the combined funds are slated to become depleted in 2035. That means just 16 years time, uh, when 46-year-olds become the first eligible for retirement benefits, and at that time they're anticipating we may be able to pay 80% of the scheduled benefits. Does your organization have a rule of thumb, I mean anecdotally, about uh, how much your clients should expect to fund their retirement for their own retirement resources versus Social Security? We have planners that are called My Virtual Coach, and we do find when participants go back and do a checkup to see how much of their income is going to be replaced by Social Security and also looking at their retirement plan, have better wellness scores. And what I mean by a wellness score is how um, successful they are they in terms of being able to replace that pre-retirement income. And being able to provide these tools is really the factor from an educational perspective to help the participants as they plan, understanding what Social Security is going to be able to provide, what other savings vehicles, and what's um, replaced through their retirement plan.